Hello everybody, welcome to BOS Recreational Mining. Today we're pre-leaching magnetic gold ore, magnetic uh, concentrations. If you watch some of the previous videos, you've seen how we get this. A little magnet on there. You can see that this is uh, mostly magnetic stuff and we found out that the gold is attached to this black sand. So we're going to pre-leach it and get, uh, there's a lot of sulfur, there's a lot of pyrite here. So we're going to get, pre-leach it, oxidize out some of the uh, sulfur and a little bit of the iron, freeing up the gold, making it very easy for leaching. Uh, pre-leaching and leaching, almost the same thing. Uh, the next video will show leaching and you'll see there's a slight difference. So we've got a hundred pounds in there and as you can see it's basically a powder, very small grain sand. Do not inhale. Now we need to be able to oxidize it. This is uh, OxyCleaner sodium percarbonate. Basic, basically, this is a kind of a powdered H2O2 uh, hydrogen peroxide. So, I'm going to put two scoops to start it out. And I'm going to add a scoop every now and then as we go. That's our oxygen. Yeah, I can't count. Okay. No, I'm not going to add. Now we're going to use uh, muriatic acid, but not until we add the water. Pouring muriatic acid on this uh, is going to make something I don't want to breathe. Okay, we're going to... We're going to add uh, probably at least 20 gallons of water, so we got three more buckets to go. In case you're wondering, this winter's project is to clean up the mess. We've got some inventions to work on, and we definitely got some gold to, uh, to leak. Okay, you can see that I used a paint stir. And yes, there's zinc on the outside of this rod. There's zinc on the paint stir. But in a moment, you're, when we add the hydrochloric, that zinc's going to be gone. Okay, one more bucket. We can go ahead and start. See what we're going as well as the block with the nasty stuff. the shelf uh, Amazon temperature controller it's got two outlets one of them is for cooling and one of them is for heating we've got it set for 140 degrees and right now the temperature is at 82 what were we at to begin with 70 yeah we started at 70 it's already come up 10 degrees and we're getting the heat from that orange band on the bottom of the barrel. It's a plastic barrel, so you don't want to run that heat up very high. So yes, that orange band at the bottom of the barrel will melt the barrel, okay. which is the other reason 
which is the reason we put on an extra thermostat. And if you look down there at, the, at that yellow, there's a sensor behind here, right behind that tape. Let's fix this. Wet. So the sensor goes up to this. The belt has its own sensor, so we've got two ways of controlling the heat. I unplugged this so you can hear me. And that is still bubbling air up pretty good. So we know it's not completely wet. Ace hardware, muriatic acid. I'm going to run this for about a week. Don't have to run it for a week. Probably a day would be the most it needs to. But I'm going to run it for a week just to make sure I got it. Oh, it's making, making gases. There's some gas coming out of that already. Hmm, smell it. Smell it? Huh? Yeah, it's making gases. Look, look at it. Where does it go? The impellers are set up so that they blow the liquid down. It's the bottom of the barrel comes back up, so it circulates. 